Okay guys, so um, I had gotten some inboxes asking me how to, how to show, my hair is all jacked up so I really don't want to be in the camera today, <laughs> um, but asking me how to show you guys how to uh, print a print and trace um, a flare. So basically we're going to take multi pages, tape them together, tape them onto the board and then cut them out. This is for us who don't know how to draw and this is a great time for me to show you this because I have a setup um, tonight that is asking for a track. They have track in their program. So I have volleyball, I've got basketball, I've got you know soccer, all of those, but I don't have a track and field. So I'm gonna show you, um, this is my first attempt doing this. Um, so you'll learn as I'm learning, but in my head, I'm thinking this, this should work. If I print on multiple pages, tape it down, and trace over it because it's just going to be a silhouette it's just going to be black and white so let me get my laptop and i'll get logged on and then i'll come back and show you guys okay so before we get started we have to know what size um uh, what size flare we're going to make our flare is going to be a two foot by two foot roughly about that so once i have how big it is then i need to know let me back this up just a little okay so this is the whole board. It's about roughly about two feet by two feet. And we wanna see how many um, pages, this is just a, a piece of paper. So if I have this landscape, they call this way up and down portrait and they call this landscape. So I know that a track shoe, I'm thinking of a track shoe with maybe wings on it or something. Um, but I haven't looked up images yet, but I'm thinking that's what I'm probably gonna wanna use for this. But at any rate, I'll put my paper down here and then I'll see how many are gonna fit across here. So that's one there, a little marker. So roughly that's about two sheets of paper right here going across. And then this way there's one, two, and maybe three, but still a little. So I'm thinking maybe two across and three down, okay? So, all right, so I have my little paint icon here at the bottom. So I'll just click that and go to paint. This is what you'll open up in but we don't have anything to put in there yet. So let's go search for an image. And then I'm gonna put up, I'm gonna pull up track, um, image, clip art. I like to use the word clip art um, and then free of course. Um, I like to use the word clip art because it's gonna give you more of a drawing type of thing versus an, a real picture. Um, so I'll click on images And then here are various track images. And so this is what I kind of had in mind. Um, um, this is kind of what I had in mind, like the, the shoe with the wings on it. So this one would be pretty simple to make, um, but I do have a little time, so I can probably do something maybe like that. That one's cool. That's really cool. Um, let's go back up. I think this one's pretty cool. Um, the only thing with that is it may be a lot of cleanup work behind it um, because there's so many like stripes right there, but it would look cool. Um, so I guess let's go with that one. Let's have a look at it. And I decided on this guy right here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do this one. So I'm going to click on it, well right click on it, and then I'm going to save image as, and then I'm going to go to my folder, and I'm going to put it here, I'm just going to name it track shoe, okay, so now I can close out of here, and then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to um, go to paint, all right, so now I'm in paint, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the file that I just saved. So file, open. Okay, and then you just find where you, you find wherever you put it. So it was here. And there's my track shoe. All right. So there it is. 
And now what I'm going to do is I am going to click on, I want to say print, file, print, and let's do page setup. Okay, so on page setup, if you go down here where it says um, fit to, right here, it says fit to one by one pages. Um, and well, first where it says orientation, that's where you wanna make sure it's either portrait or landscape. And because my picture is this way, it's landscape, I need to make sure that landscape is selected. Then I'm gonna go fit to one by one pages. Well, remember when we measured the pages across the board? It was like two across this way and then like three down. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put fit two which is my top row, because I want one, two pages, and then by three pages. So two across and then three down, or at least that's, that's what I'm thinking is the right thing to do. So I'm gonna do two by three, and then I'm gonna do okay. And then I want to do file, print preview. Well, I'm sorry, file, print, and then print preview. And then that'll show me um, how many pages it's on. So it looks like it's just two by two. So let's go back and we'll do file, print, page setup, and then we'll change this fit two by two. Okay, and then we can do print preview. And then that's the same thing, but now it's not gonna spit out the blank pages. That just still seems pretty small to me. It's almost like I want to do um, three by three um, for it, because I'm not sure if like that. That just seems really small on there for me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a risk here, and I'm going to do print page setup, and I'm gonna do three by three, and that's basically gonna give me nine pages. And let's see what it looks like. So that's the first page. It looks like a little tiny dot there. So that'd be the first row. This would be the second row. And this would be the third row. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that and let's just, um, let's print it and see what happens. Okay, so we printed the, the, um, the pictures. And then here's the board. Hope I didn't make this too big. All right, so this would be the first one. Second one. Third one. Fourth one. <clears throat> so, basically I, t I printed it too large. Boom. Um. I need to print it smaller. I need to just do it on one, two, the two by two, because this is gonna be a little bit too big. Unless I twist it, if I twist this and put it at an angle, so the shoe is like that. close it's gonna be close ladies and gentlemen but we're gonna take a shot um, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to cut where these white bars are and then tape it all together so that it's one piece okay so I'm gonna keep these in order Put the lower here 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 like that. I need to pause and go get scotch tape. Well, I don't have any scotch tape, but my mom is bringing me some. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Um, so I'm gonna start with the first two pieces here. And so there's nothing to attach here. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move that out of the way because there's no printing on that. There's printing on this one. And this one is gonna connect, but like, you see how there's, there's this border? 
there. Um, we need to get rid of that. I'm going to scoot these over just so I can come a little closer to you. Now, this is where I use my board as a guide a little bit. Um, I'll line up on the edge. But see these lines? You basically just want to cut straight there, right where that border is, and cut it off on the first page. So I'm going to move this so that this lines up with this line right here. It doesn't really matter um, so much, but it just helps me. start cutting it out. Be right back. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna roughly trim around this um, so we're not working with so much paper. So I'm just gonna cut this. Okay. Alright, so now we're not dealing with so much paper. Oh, y'all. As soon as I get started on it, he's gonna come home. I'm always. Alright. And then we're just gonna put another piece of tape here. Leaving, like cutting these off, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna be that much more work, so I'm gonna leave them there. And again, um, I'm gonna show you just how pixelated that is. That's pretty blurry, but that doesn't matter. We're just gonna cut around it, and I think it'll be fine. Um, so next, what we do is we're gonna get our board. Okay, we're gonna get our board, and we are going to clean our board. And this has a little black mark on the top, so I'm gonna see if this side is cleaner. All right, I'm gonna spray that with Windex. And then we're gonna wipe it dry. Our flutes, if you see that, the lines go up and down. So we're gonna stake from the bottom. So make sure your lines are up and down. But for this one, we're gonna get a little creative because it's a really big piece. And I'm trying to make it fit on here. And it's gonna be a struggle, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna put it on here as an angle, like normally you probably like it would be straight. It would be straight like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we would normally have it like that, but see our board isn't big enough. So I'm just gonna angle this like this because I wanna make this work, all right? So it looks like I'll still be able to trim around and leave some white edge there and trim around here. It's gonna be tight, but we're gonna make this, we're gonna make this work. All right, so this is what we do. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this picture down so it doesn't move while we're cutting. 
Actually, I think I'm gonna use the frog tape instead. Cause I'm not sure if that Gorilla Glue is gonna leave the residue. So, here's the skinny one. This is the thin one. do is all these marks that are here everything all the colors that you see here all the colors of the black that you see we're just going to take our exacto knife and we're just going to trim around every little line that we see okay and actually I skipped a step I was supposed to take the board first so now we got to rewind <laughs> so I'm going to pull this picture off and, and, and frog tape the board so that's what happens when you're when you're learning as I'm learning. Okay, I got ahead of myself, so let's pull this off gently. We're gonna mark our borders around here. But since I'm doing the whole thing, we don't have to mark the borders because my husband, he normally goes outside the lines, but I know where I want my line. So um, we don't need to draw the, the borders around the edge. We're just gonna get our... So we've got them on there, and what we're gonna do now is just trim them out. Okay, so just to be clear, anything anything that's black that's on here, we're gonna be cutting that out and peeling it out, okay? Anything that you see that's white, we're gonna leave green tape on because we don't want paint to get on and want that to be white. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the trimming. I'm gonna turn this slightly so that way I'm closer to the camera. With you and then we're just gonna start trimming out the the black part so I'm gonna start here
This piece I'll keep and draw something else on. Right, pretty good. 